Hello everybody, um, welcome to a special thing. Um, I am going to play Legendary with uh, my brother Death Clutch again. Uh, however, this time it's not on the stream and we have fixed a lot of the audio issues, I believe. Um, so without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set up the game in real time while uh, he kind of explains some of the basics. So if you'd like to go ahead. Okay. Um... Basically, this is what you call a deck building game. Uh, what Chi Man over there is going to be doing is uh, he has a program on his phone called the Legendary Randomizer, and you just it's, you, it's a free app. You get, if you are able to download apps, you can get this. Uh, you download the program, you put the number of players that's going to be in the game, and it rolls for you and sets up uh, how you're going to set up the board. If you don't have anything like this, you could set up the game manually. I just recommend you having a bunch of die uh, to roll to, to randomize the board. Uh, what he's put down on the board right now is called the scheme. This is uh, the way that with the mastermind, which is the main villain that we're, we're fighting against right now, could possibly win the game. Uh, the mastermind down here is the villain will be squaring off against, uh, which is Red Skull right now. Uh, whenever uh, a Master Strike card is drawn from the villain deck, uh, you do what is said on the top card of the Mastermind pile, which uh, in his case is each player KOs a hero from their hand. And you have Shield Agents underneath that, which we'll get into that later. You have the Rune Pile, Bystanders, each player has a deck uh, of 12 cards to start out with. Both me and Chi Man will have the same amount of cards, same type of cards in each deck. Uh, the villain deck comprises of the eight scheme twists, which is listed on the scheme card for setup. And also, um, because of this, the specific one that we're doing, he has to put two extra henchmen groups into the villain deck, so if my counter's right, that would be three villain groups, or three henchmen groups, and then in a two-player game, you would put two villain groups, I believe, two types of villains. Or you want me to answer? Uh, yeah, if you could. It's going to be two villain groups and two henchmen groups for this particular scheme. Okay, okay. Um, and then he'll also add five Master Strike cards into the deck and also the eight scheme scheme twists like I said earlier they always go to the damn bystander deck <laughs> and he'll also add I believe it's two bystanders for a two player game you are correct okay and once all that's added into the villain deck uh, Vassal automatically shuffles it but in real life you'd shuffle it up uh, and then you compromise, you compile the hero deck, which I think Chi Man's already done. Uh, in a two-player game, it's five hero groups. Each hero has different versions of themselves. So if you see multiples on the board there, don't freak out. That's how the game goes. We are officially set up, by the way. All right. Um, the HQ down here, if you see these hero cards that showed up, is where you would recruit your heroes for your personal decks. The cityscape is where villains would come out from the villain deck, starting at the sewers here, which is the closest to the villain deck, and proceed to the left side of that until they possibly escape, going into the escape villains pile, which we'll get into that later. And since Chi Man is ready here, we'll just we'll jump into it. All right, and I have my hand drawn. So the most common hand, it seems, that we get is the four recruit. Um, you got the stars, which are recruitment points, and the slashes, which are the attack points. Um, this little circle is how much it costs to recruit them, but these, these guys are all free, and my virus protection seems to have updated. Um, <laughs> Uh, so, and you always start out with 12 cards, which is 8 of the recruits, uh, the agents, and 4 of the damage guys. So, 
Um, I will be going first, so what I, I'm going to do is I will draw a villain. All right. Okay, so I can't... I got two attacks, so I can't do anything there. So that's garbage. But I have four um, recruitment, and I will be doing, hopefully, the... Let's see, do I want to do that, or do I want to do Wolverine? You did Wolverine last time. Well, I usually do the Captain America one, so if you want to go with him this time, I mean, it's fine. What, Cap? Yeah, if, if yeah you, I'll go if... ahead and do the Cap. Okay, so I took him. He goes immediately. I paid his four points. Hold on, let me zoom in. I paid his four points, um, and he'll immediately go into my discard. Now, that's the end of my turn, so I discard my entire hand, and then I draw more. Now, it's not the other person's turn until you draw cards, which is weird compared to most games. But you get used to so, it after a while. You don't draw at the beginning of your turn. You draw at the end of your turn. Okay, and I will start my turn out, which at the beginning of every one of your turns, you draw the top card of the villain deck. And I drew a bystander card. And what's going to happen with this bystander is it will go immediately to any villain that's on the board. Now, if there's nobody in the cityscape, then it will go directly behind the mastermind. Uh, but there is somebody here on the board, so I'm going to send it to the sewers. And if you notice, the B equals over the guy already in the sewers it equals one. That means he has a bystander behind him. So if we defeat him, uh, we'll also gain the bystander as well. But, all right, back to my turn. I'm sorry. Uh, I have three, oh, no, you're fine. three recruits. You know what? I think I'm going to grab this. Uh, I'll have to go with Wolverine here. So, not doing a Cyclops build this time? No, not yet. So Wolverine goes to my discard pile. I only... Well, I have three fight. I'm going to go ahead and fight this Hydra guy here. So Okay, now uh, don't move him yet so that I can zoom in here. Um, he has a fight condition. Uh, the three slashes on the right-hand side there... Uh, means that uh, it takes three fight to kill him. Uh, his fight condition is you may gain a shield officer, so he uh, will get one of these Maria Hills, which is essentially just two recruitment points, but, you know, handy dandy. Yeah. And one victory point, we'll get into victory points at the end, but uh, needless to say, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> so I will take right. him and put him in my victory pile up here, along with the bystander that was behind him, because I rescued the bystander. And I will gain a Maria Hill or a Shield Agent card into my discard pile. Alright, so that's my turn. I'm going to discard, draw my next round of cards, and pass the turn over to Chief. Okay, so start a turn. Scheme Twist. Excellent. <laughs> Okay, a scheme twist, play the top two cards of the villain deck. Actually, uh, right now, not insane. Did you want to uh, move the scheme itself over one so we could stack the, the scheme twist next to it? Um, we can. There we go. If you notice, the little counter is above where it says scheme. That's how many need Yeah. Okay, so two attacks, so I can't do shit. Um, I have four recruit. Um, and I am going to pick up Cyclops. Oh, wow. Cyclops, Captain America build. That's, that's yeah, a pretty cool. strong build if you can get it off. Yeah. Okay, so that's all I can do. So discard. Now I'm out of cards, so I have to uh, shuffle them. Uh, you do not do that until you're actually out of cards. Um, and the reason why, you'll kind of notice later in the game. Okay, so... On to my turn. So I'll draw my villain. 
And it's just a signal. So we're going to push the other two down. One each. Put the signal forward. Alright, so I have five recruits. I'm essentially mm -hmm. doing a Wolverine build to begin with. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take another one of these Wolverines. Which, that would spend three of my recruitment points. And all heroes are automatically replaced if you, if you recruit them. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, that didn't work out like I wanted it to. So you're hoping for uh, for the two Wolverine, right? Yeah. Well, okay, well, I've only got one fight, and I can't really do anything from here, so I'll discard my hand. And I'll have to take my cards back and shuffle them. So here's a decision for me. Um, maybe uh, pry your mind for thoughts on this, Bry. Okay. Um... So I could pick up, I have enough where I could pick up that cap, which is a solid four attack. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, but I could also take the opportunity to really deck out my future build and grab the copy rogue, because you don't really need the rogue build to use copy rogue. No. Um, I would probably, I'd go for the copy rogue if I were you. Yeah, for right now. And that way I kind of have a double card yeah you can at all have, times yeah i would go for it i do want to go for the full cap build but you know oh there we go another cyclops shows up on the hq oh shit hold on i forgot to do villain and it was a master strike okay master strike each player kills a cartoon a hero from their hand Ugh. ko's jesus ko's yep Okay, um, and I have to discard a card to use Cyclops' effect of, to play this card, you must discard a card from your hand, which gave me the six things. So, that's all I can do on my turn. Okay. So, discard and redraw. Hopefully I grab that cap. Looks like it's going to be... And I oh, did. Good. It was almost a vanilla hand there, that would have been bad. Yeah. But I have enough to kill at least one thing on the board, so... Well, I um, drew a... You're, you're up. So, I will push those three down, bring... What is that? Endless Armies of Hydra, I have to fill. Uh, let's see. I have two, three, four recruit. Uh, I guess I'll just keep going with Wolverine here. I mean... Yeah. Uh, it's one of those things I have found out where it is powerful to have, you know, like two heroes to three heroes mixed in your deck. But if you can just straight up deck out like every card from a hero, it works. Man, you're super powerful. Yeah. So I have. Three, it's hard to do though. I have three fights. I can hit any of these three fight characters on the city. You know what? I'm. I know you're wanting. You're. You're staring at that savage land that you takes. Like you want to hit that one. Now, actually, I I want to hit this Hydra so I can get a shield officer for recruit. Okay. So, well, go I, for it. We'll attack the savage land and take that. All right. Let me zoom in here. Let's see. When you draw a new hand of cards at the end of the turn, draw an extra card. So that's what that does. Okay, and that's my turn. So I will discard my hand. Instead of just drawing six this time around, I will draw seven due to the Savage Land mutate effect. There you go. And that's my turn. Okay. So this captain, uh, you get plus one attack for each color hero you have. I have grays and I have green. So I ha actually have a two on him. So I have three attack. I'm going to first draw from the villain deck, <laughs> which I almost forgot to do again. I'm going to destroy this Hydra, which gives me a shield card, officer. Um, and then I have four recruit. Uh, well, okay, well, I will pick up one of these Cyclopses. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. And that's my turn. And I ran out, 
So now I reshuffle. Four, five. Damn it. I'm doing that thing again where I get one under the amount I need for everything. <laughs> I'm going to start All right. my turn. So I drew a spoon <laughs> twist from the Zillan deck. So that would be the top two cards of the Zillan deck. So I draw again. And one was a Master Strike. So this will be KO and the Hero from our hands. So I KO'd one. Uh, I know, it's a toss-up. Alright, time for the second one. And luckily it was an actual bull this time. So we're gonna push the other two down or the other three down. And thank goodness it wasn't another scheme twist. Okay. Yeah. So I have three recruit. And I guess we're still gonna go with the Wolverine idea here. So I recruit that. And there's the one that she is needing, the level six Cyclops, which would come in handy for her. Yes. And then I have four fights. So, oh, both of those Hydra henchmen would be bad hitting at this point in time. You know what? I'll go ahead and hit the Sentinel here. I'm going to fight him and destroy him. And his fight effect is KO one of your heroes, which is from your hand or ones that you've played. Uh, this turn, so man, we are having bad luck with that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of one of these vanilla guys real quick. Discard my hand. Oh, gotta reshuffle. At least we're not gaining wounds right now. That's could be. Well, right. you have Wolverine. Wounds would be nice for you. All right, that's my turn. <clears throat> Okay, so villain. Oh joy, scheme twist. And a scheme twist. Oh no. And a master strike. Oh. Uh. Okay, hold on. A scheme twist, draw two, which would be these two. So I still need to draw two after this, but. Um, so I need to KO a hero? Yes, KO a hero from, you know, your hand. I'm thinking. Okay. And uh, we still got two more draws. Make that three more draws. Another scheme twist. <laughs> yeah. Wow. One. Two. <laughs> three. All right. We got lucky there. No, we didn't. That's another Master Strike. Uh, well, at least it wasn't a villain. If it was, it would have pushed uh, a villain out to the escape villain's pile. <sighs> okay, well, I have fucking shit. <laughs> well, um, you could either fight or recruit. I mean, you still have enough to do either one. Oh, yeah. Well, I have enough to do both. So I'm going to grab up Cyclops there, of course. Um... And I'm going to kill Savage Land Brutes. And that's the end of my turn. So now I can draw seven. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, time to start my turn. Draw from the gun deck. We'll move the Sentinel over because with Cheese last attack, he opened up a space between villains. So what would happen yeah. is you take the one close to the villain deck and move it over. And then put the new villain down. Alright, so two recruit. So we we probably should have done this at, at the beginning instead of 20 minutes in, but do you want to <laughs> explain why somebody's yelling in your background? Oh, okay, yeah, that's my, my son Brandon, he's only 15 months old, so if you keep hearing an E type sound in the background and or a TV sound, I have to keep uh, Sesame Street on for him or he's going to get very upset with daddy, so 
Uh, and he likes to run around in his walker. So if you hear any strange noise, and E, and E is his favorite letter by far. Yeah, E is his, <laughs> his call signal. So, um, okay, all right. I don't have enough to recruit anything. I can fight though. Yeah, E is right, son. <laughs> all right. So, what do you suggest I do here, brother of mine? Should I go ahead and hit one of these Hydra guys? And get it out the way. No, if any, if anybody escapes, let the hydras. Okay. Um. So then it's the sentinels or the savage land. You know what? I'm gonna hit the savage land mutate. Okay. Because I could use the extra card draw at the end. So that's my turn. I discard. Mm -hmm. Draw my initial six with one extra card draw due to defeating the savage land mutate. Okay, and that's my turn. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four recruit, which doesn't help me greatly. And one, two, three, four attack. So. Uh, let me check out my discard real quick. I wanted to make sure I did have uh, something in my discard. Okay, so first we'll recruit one, two, three, four. Guess I'm just. I'm actually going to. Yeah, I'll take. I'll take the three one. Hey, there's your two uh, Wolvie that you're really looking for. Oh, thank you. I, I definitely uh, do. Uh, let's see. And then four attack. Yep. I, nothing else I can kill, and we need to kill stuff. Wait, did I do... I totally didn't do a thing. Yeah, there. I draw a villain. Okay. Um, and I have to discard our KO card. So there we go. Okay. Oh, excellent. Yeah, this is uh, by far my favorite card in the deck. Oh, to, just a reminder to you, uh, uh, uh -huh. Cyclops cards, you have to discard a card from your hand to play each of them. Yeah, I've, I've noticed that. That's why I'm trying to get the uh, six. Cyclops, I can, yeah. And I... Uh, which I can do this turn, so I'm I'm actually good. Okay. I'm so not going to be able to attack though. <laughs> so I drew my villain, and I'm going to move the sentinels over because it was actually a villain card, and it's the unstoppable juggernaut. Jesus Christ! I can't catch a break, can I? No. So um, a new flavor text. Oh, I have no. Sweet. Continue. Sorry, I just got excited because I have no discard. Okay, well, a new flavor text has showed up on the card, which is Ambush. Uh, it says, Ambush, each player KOs two heroes from their discard pile, which means as soon as he hits the cityscape, both players have to do what the Ambush effect is. So, luckily for Chi, he has no discard pile. And unfortunately for me, I do. So, let's see what we got here. Remember, you can go up to the number two on top and look at your discards. I know, but I am I don't like that function also I'm doing it the lazy way. Um so I had to KO those. Alright, now on to my turn. I have four recruits. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna take this little brain. Oh, and the second little brain that popped up. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hey, hey. My lucky day here. So I have five fights. Oh, you know what? I am going to probably hit this Viper. Okay. Uh, each player without another Hydra villain in their victory pile gains a wound. Okay, I actually have to look at my victory pile real quick. I think I have to as well. I do have a Hydra, and so do you. Yep, okay. Excellent. So, she will go to my victory pile. 
And I will discard my hand for the turn. Um, can I take a minute? Because I know there's probably a lot of new players watching this and kind of interested in this game at this point. Um, I want to let them know what the modifiers on winning this game is. Okay, uh, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to kind of progress through my turn. Yeah, go for it. And they can just follow along with me while you're talking. Okay. Um, now, if you look over here up at the top left where the schemes are, where the scheme twist is, it says at the bottom, evil wins if 12 villains escape. Now, if we let 12 villains hit the escape villains pile, that means the mastermind has completed his task to stop us as heroes and wins the game. So that means we as players would lose. Uh, for me and Chi-Man to win this game, we have to be able to attack the mastermind four times and successfully hit him four times to win the game. Uh, another modifier of the game is if all the cards from the hero deck is drawn out, then we tie the game and we try again, basically. So, and that's it for my explanation. <laughs> okay. And that's it for my turn. What I did was, uh, were you following along on my thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was. Okay. Did you see what I did? Yeah, if you wanted to explain it to anybody. Or... Okay. So I played Cyclops, which meant I had to discard a card. So I discarded a agent. I then played Rogue, which copies an ability and copied that Cyclops card, so I then discarded another agent. So then I had six recruitment points and picked up the big Cyclops that allows me to um, uh, basically that whole discarding a card, it negates that. Um, I then played another Cyclops card that gave me three attack, uh, which I discard my last card, and I was able to kill the Savage Lane Brutes. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, well, time to start my turn then. Mm -hmm. So, we have another Savage Land on page show up. I'll get to the sewers. And I have three recruits. Well, hey, guess what? It's going to be Wolverine. <laughs> hey! Another nice. Captain America. Okay, so I have two, four, six, seven fights. And you know what? Even though the board's full, I think I'm going to go ahead and hit the Mastermind. Go ahead, I approve. Alright, so I'm going to attack the Red Skull. So there's four cards actually under the Mastermind face down. So when I attack him, one of those cards will be drawn. Okay, and hold it right there. I, I can see it from here. You can see what I've... You can see the, uh, the card that I so, do. So, yes. So he gets um, three extra attack this turn. Yep. And I will send him to my discard pile. Or my victory pile, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So three extra fight could get us a long way. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Sentinel. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Which will cause me to KO a hero, but you know what? It's alright at this point. Yeah, you're thinning out your deck at this point. You have so many damn Wolverine cards. Yeah. I'm still trying to recruit, unfortunately. So I'll just discard my hand. Draw a new hand. And in that uh, Master Strike. Uh, KO's a hero from hand. Okay. Oh, I'm getting rid of an agent there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means that I'm getting rid of him. Okay. So my turn? Yes, yes. Okay. So play that card. Well, don't forget your villain. <laughs> I already did the villain. It was Master Strike. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm keeping the six. Unfortunately, I can't attack this turn, Bri. Okay, that's fine. Um, the reason why is I'm going to pick up that cap. Excellent. 
Um, and that put me for one, two. So he's a two, so I can't do anything with him. So that's a discard. I would have been fine if I didn't have that damn... Uh, if that Master Strike didn't come up. Okay, I... I'll start my turn first. And it's a bystander, so... It will go to the villain in the sewers. And I'm going to play my cards on the blue area under the HQ, so I could kind of show new players what this uh, certain mechanic is for them. Well, re remember that I have your hand up, so all you have to do is go from top level to bottom level, and it's the same effect, but we can see it clear. Okay, so I'm going to start playing my cards in the order starting from the left on the bottom row. Uh, so I'm going to play my Wolverine, my two-fight Wolverine, and then I'm going to play the draw a card Wolverine. Now, this little symbol in front of the draw a card means I should, I have had to play a yellow card, a yellow bordered card, before I play this card to draw a card. If that makes any sense to anybody uh, watching. Okay, since I played a yellow card already, it allows me to draw a card. And I have to shuffle my deck, of course. <laughs> so that's my card draw. And then I will play this third Wolverine. This is I've played a yellow before him, I get to draw another card. Now, he's not talking about the original Wolverine. He has to play off one that hasn't been played off yet. So he's actually playing off the draw a card Wolverine, not from the original Wolverine. Okay, uh, I'll play him afterwards. So we're just going to go ahead and do my fighting first. So I have four, six. I have six fight this turn. And I think... You know, I'm going to hit the Juggernaut. Why not? So I'll kill the Juggernaut there. Nice. And I have three recruit left. Oh, man. You know what? I'll take this road. Hey, Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man's in this, too. All right, I will discard <laughs> my hand then. Draw my new hand for the next turn. Oh, I'm out of cards already. I have really thinned my deck out. Well, Are the you? Master Strikes have helped you with that. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to kind of rapid fire this. Uh, first, I need a villain. Ugh, we need to kill that as fast as possible. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so Cyclops, Cyclops, Cyclops. So discard, 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 and Mastermind hit. Excellent. Draw two cards, then draw another card for each Hydra villain in your victory pile. Okay, so draw two cards. Then draw another card. So I need to look at my victory pile. Player one victory pile. So that'd be two. Okay. Oh, wow, cap. So that cap is now a one, two, three, and four. So I have another four, five, six. I have six attack. So I am going to give us both a break and take out her. Good. <laughs> Um, and I have three recruitment left, which I wasn't anticipating, so now I have to actually look. Well, we're gonna... Uh, you know what? How much do we have? Three? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab up him. Nice. Alright. That's, that's, uh, yeah, those, those two caps I've been looking for. Okay, uh, so redraw. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Yes, now it's coming together, guys. Copy Rogue. See, so, 
sometimes when you do combos, particularly when you've been playing a while, you you kind of end up in this situation, this middle ground where nothing is going on, and you feel almost depressed. You're like, oh god, I can't do anything. But then the combo starts working, and it's magic. You just play through. <laughs> yeah, so you're up. All right, so we have the Hydra kidnappers or endless armies of Hydra. Hit the yeah, why not? Um, <laughs> let's see. First and foremost, I'm going to do a Wolverine combo. So I played this two fight Wolverine, the same as before. Play this, activate his effect, draw a card. All right, and these two are the same. Four, six, seven. There you go. Seven fight. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the mastermind before you recruit it. Well, let me bring it up. Okay, go ahead. Let's see. Okay, look at the top three cards of your deck. KO one, discard one, and put one back on top of your deck. All right. That's a pretty shitty card, really. <laughs> it, it is. It really is. So I'm just going to put it in the blue area down here under the heroes. So one... Two, three. Okay, well, this is my KO one. Because she doesn't fit the scheme. Right. Discard one. And put and one back on top of my deck. There you go. And I still have four, four recruit. recruits. Oh, boy. I'm going to take Cap. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm no, go ahead. Cap. No, you're fine. Go ahead. Oh, the big rogue shows up. Okay. All right. So, start of my turn. Once you draw. Ugh, fucking bystander. There we go. Okay. So, I'm going to play that, but... Uh, I have the the thing that allows me to return this card to my hand. So technically, I would discard this for the other card and then put it right back in my hand. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'll be playing that, that, and that. So that gives me six, seven, eight recruit. Oh, that row. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I will defeat Red Skull for good. Excellent. With my eight attack. So I get uh, four recruitment this turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've defeated the villain, the the master. Yeah. So, so we have won. Yeah, we've technically won. So, which which brings me up to a semi review of this game. Um, I do have tons of fun playing it. Me and Brian do play. Ugh, I keep saying that Death Clutch play all the time. Um, however, my one drawback is that it is short. You either die fast or you kill fast. And unfortunately, it feels most of the time like right when you're in the groove, your combos start going, game's over. Yeah, but there is different difficulty settings for this game. Uh, for this Let's Play, we decided to just do the normal standard yeah. setup. Uh, you can up the difficulty by adding more schemes or... Uh, Increasing the the attack of the mastermind, um, but here comes the, here comes our least favorite part, which most people would find this the most fun part. <laughs> but uh, at the end of the game, all players tally up their victory points, which is if you look at the villain cards or any card really, there is a little red symbol about midway through the card that has a number value. That's called the victory point total. Or vi it's the victory point. Uh, at the end of the game, you usually take all your cards in your victory pile, add those little red numbers up, and that tells you how well you did, I guess, for this game. Uh, yeah. For the Vassal Engine, the victory point total is the, to the yellow number circled next to the discard piles for each player. So... The way we play it is actually much more simple, which is if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. Yep. They're very good at being a team. Now, 
don't go out and buy this game and play it and think you're going to do as well as me and she. We've played a lot of this game, so yeah. we know how to work together on it. And figuring out what combos, figuring out, okay, I know that what kind of combo he's going for, so I'll kind of do these cards to avoid those cards, and knowing when to pick up something that maybe breaks your uh, teammate's combo in order to you know, crazy uphold your combo, you know, stuff like that. You know, it's, it's all just a part of figuring out the game. Um, overall, um, like I said, I do review, whenever I do a review on anything, it's always on whatever the default is. So this is on normal difficulty. I think it's a little fast. I think using the up the difficulty things, uh, extends the life a little bit. Um, and I think that the expansion pack that comes out on June, 15th will greatly improve it because there's a, a big expansion pack and then there's a fantastic four pack with like a hundred plus cards that's coming out after that so yeah. this this next expansion that comes out june 15th will have 350 cards total and i'd like to say that this video was 20 minutes shorter than our last <laughs> <laughs> that was a quick game um before we we cut out uh -huh. uh, if you do play this game on Vassal or you do happen to purchase this game, uh, you go to any of your, your board gaming stores or gaming stores and pick this base set up for $60. It's a good buy. We, we play it quite a bit, but if you purchase it or play it on Vassal, if you have a smartphone or an iPad, uh, iPod, whatever that you could download apps onto, Please download the Legendary Randomizer app by Simon Hugh. Uh, uh, actually, you, you keep saying that. That's the app that's for the iPod. Um, Josh D Dustin um, was the uh, person who made the Android app. And okay. the original app was done by Alan Patrick. Okay, okay. Well, either way around, get the Legendary Randomizer app. <laughs> yeah. It will save you so much time playing this game. Uh, if not, you're going to spend probably a good 10 minutes just setting the board up to play. So please pick that up if you can. All right. Well, I think that's the end of it. So uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, see you next time. Till ne next time. <laughs>